good morning students in today's class we are going to see one new poem so before entering to that i am going to ask the two questions for you the first question is what is your favorite thing have you ever given away your favorite things to someone the second question is if somebody has given their favorite things to you because you need it or like that then while you are receiving how do you feel you are so happy no so in this poem also we are going to see one boy his name is charji okay his name is charji so he is the a hard working boy okay he is the young hard working boy so charji is a young hard working boy so he is having one favorite thing okay so he gave his favorite things to someone let us see who is that person by reading the poem we can understand that what is charji's favorite things and whom did he gave his favorite things and while they are receiving how they feel so like that we can see in this poem so charji he lives with his sick mother okay charji he lives with his sickly mother his mother was so sick okay so charji he lives with his mother his mother was in sick condition so they are saying it is sickly so he lives with his sickly mother in what are the ways the charji helped his mother this also we can see in this poem okay this poem the title of the poem poem is charji street okay what is the title of the poem charji street who is charji he is a young hard working boy his name is charji okay so it was a anonymous poem who has written we don't know so we it is an anonymous poem so this poem consists of seven stanza so in that the first two stanza is the memory poem for you so students listen carefully okay so in this poem we are going to discuss about the charji he is a young hard working boy what is charji's favorite thing and whom did he give his favorite things okay to whom he gave his favorite things and while they are receiving how they feel the next one how charji helped his mother in what are the ways the charji helped his mother so these are the things we are going to see in this poem okay so here i have written the the new words for you so you can go through this new words also while i am reading it okay first i will read out the poem so students see here this is the poem for you okay so take page number 83 in your english book first i will read out the poem then i will give you the explanation charji is a young hard working boy let us read how he help his sickly mother poor little charji and his sick mother had nothing for fire during a harsh winter dried sticks and twigs from under the tree was all that the poor boy could gather so one fine day he went to the woods to cut an axe some firewood charji worked hard till the sun was high then under the tree did charji lie while covered in moss he did find scarlet berries red and white thought charji how would how could these will be on buttered bread i wish i had with me the next stanza is he set to work saving the ripe red ones in a makeshift cap made of leaves by the river he sat to taste them took one but stopped and thought of mom should i save them he asked with sigh looking at them with the longing eyes charji then decided to go half and share and not to eat all of them there loving son that he was charji bite but a single one and wrapped the rest for his sick mom and hungrily started back for home as he neared his touched hut less to have them he felt had i eaten would i ever sense said he half this way of happiness 
it is a anonymous poem okay now i will give you the explanation okay so a charge is a ha is a hard working boy he lives with his mother his mother was so sick okay see the first stanza in page number 83 poor little charge and his sick mother had nothing for fire during a harsh winter so by this by this setup we can see it is a in this picture also you can see what is the season here it is a winter season in the winter season how do you feel you are so cold the places are so cold and the human beings also have a shivering you all feel very cold so the poor little charge and his mother it's also are in very cold so they had no fire there are no fire they had no fire during the harsh winter so why they are keeping the fire to make themselves warm for that only they are uh, warming up in the fire so as they are so poor they had nothing to fire in the harsh winter harsh means cruel or severe harsh means cruel or severe why they are saying it is harsh winter because charge and his mother had no fire wood to keep themselves warm so that's why they are saying it is harsh winter as they are poor they are not having any fire wood to warm themselves that's why they are saying it is harsh winter because as they are very poor they can't able to buy the fire wood also so they are in very cool cool situation so for that they are not having any fire wood to keep themselves warm okay and uh, nothing for fire during a harsh winter they are not uh, having anything to keep themselves warm dried sticks and twigs from under the tree was all that poor boy would gather so the charge would gather only sticks and twigs from under the tree what do you mean by sticks sticks you all will be knowing it is a in tamil we will say kuchi and twigs means a small branches okay the small branch of a tree is known as the twigs so the boy would gather only a sticks and twigs from under the tree so these two things only the boy would gather okay so so one fine day he went to the woods woods means forest woods so so in this line here the word woods it refers to forest okay so he went to the forest to cut and add some firewood charge worked hard till the sun was high the under the tree did charge light so a charge could gather only sticks and twigs from under the tree so these things are not enough for them to keep warm so the boy he went to the forest and he cut some of the firewood firewood means in tamil we will say varag okay so so he went to the forest to collect some firewood okay he worked hard till the sun was high means for that is till afternoon okay he worked hard till afternoon when the sun was about when the sun was about the head that is in the afternoon till afternoon he worked hard then he feel so tired and he was resting under the tree he was lying under the tree where covered in moss he did find scarlet berries red and white okay here the word moss is the what do you mean by moss moss means tiny green colored wild plants that spread over a damp surface rocks walls and stones okay so moss means in tamil we will say pasi that is known as moss okay so it is a green plants that grows on rock walls and stones in that place it will grow okay so have you ever seen the moss so it will be a uh, green in color it's a green plant that grows on the rocks walls stones surface in that place it will grow so in that moss he find these scarlet berries red and white so in that moss in that in that uh, greenish place the green plants i have told now in that a uh, green green plant he found that scarlet red berries okay what did charge found he found okay he found scarlet red berries 
Tichiphone scarlet red berry. So it is one type of a berry which is in red in color. It is a berry which is red in color. Okay, what do you mean by scarlet? Scarlet means red. Red here denotes the color, bright red color. Okay, so in the moss you find these scarlet red berry. It is red and wild. Thought Georgi, how good these will be on buttered bed. I wish I had with me. Then he is thinking that. So he is having what? He is having a scarlet red berry. So he is thinking that how this will be on buttered bread. Okay. By keeping the scarlet red berry on the buttered bread. Then how it will be? It will be so sweet. So he wants that. Okay. That's what they are saying. How good. These will be on buttered bread. I wish I had with me na romba asa padra. I wish to have that. Okay. So, he is thinking over that. So, on the buttered bread, if we keep this scarlet red berries and eat meat, it will be so nice. How good this will be. Like that, he is thinking over to himself. See the next one. He said to work saving the ripe red ones in a makeshift calf made of leaf. Okay, then he's uh, then he worked to save the ripe berries. Okay, ripe scarlet red berries from a palutta. Okay, so he started saving the scarlet red berries which are very ripe. He started to collecting that for eating. He start he pick up that. Okay. So, he is collecting the ripe ones, okay, in a makeshift calf made of leaf. What do you mean by makeshift? Something to be used only for the short time, uh, okay. So, it is a thing that will be only used for a short duration of a time. So, it is a temporary, it is not a permanent one, it is a temporary, okay. Now, you see in this picture, a boy is having one, he, uh, he sling his, uh, uh, cap in his shoulder no do you see which is in green in color so it is a cap okay so in the cap what is the scarlet red berries you see in this picture right this is so colorful and what is the cap is made of the cap is it is made of leaf okay in a makeshift cap made of leaf the cap it is a temporary one it is used for only a shorter duration and the cap it is made up of a leaf Okay, by the river, by the river, he sat to taste them, took one but stopped and thought of more. So, by the river, so now he had collected the ripe red berries, okay, so in his cup. So, then he went to the river, he sat near the river and took one and take one berries and while, while he was going to eat, he is thinking of his mother because his mother was in what condition? His mother was in sick. His mother was in sick condition. So, he is thinking of his mother. See how kind of this was. So, students have you ever filled this with your mother also? So, if you are eating something. So, do you think of your parents? Okay. So, by the riverside he sat to taste him. Took one but stopped and thought of his mom. He is taking one and while he is eating he is thinking of his mother. Should I save them? He asked with a sigh. Okay. So, I have to save them for my mother? He asked to himself. Looking at them with the longing eyes. Longing eyes means desire. Okay. He is looking at the red berries with a desire. Chaji then decided to go half and share and not eat all of them there. Then he decided that, okay, I can share with my mother also. So, half for himself and half for his mother. Like that, the charge divided, divided the berries into two halves. Okay. That is half for himself and half for his mother. Like that, he decided. Charge then decided to go half and share. Okay. So, there are so many scarlet berries now. So, he does not eat the scarlet berry alone. He is sharing to his mother also. He is keeping the sharing one half for himself and half for his mother okay so saved half the berries for his mother and not to eat all of them he is not eating all the berries alone okay he is saving for his sick mother okay so 
so students have you understand this stanza so while he was eating he was thinking of his mother and he is asking to himself that should i save that so he is looking at the berries with the longing eyes with the desire he is looking okay then he is decided that to go half and share with his mother so he gave uh, he kept half for himself and he kept half for his mother okay so so he saved half the berries for his mother loving son that he was now see he was a very loving son and caring son charge bit but a single one and drop the rest for his sick mom and hungrily started back for home okay he bite a single berry and he covered the rest of the things for his mother wrapped means covered wrapped means what covered so he covered the rest of his berries for his mother and hungrily started back for home then he is walking for the home he is going for the home with hungrily hungrily means perceived and okay in hungrily so even though he is having a berries now see the boy is having the berries in his cap no so even though he is having so much of berries he is not eating one because he is saving those berries for his sick mother so even though there is uh, there is a lot of berry he does not eat a eat eat one he does not eat all the berries alone he is just sharing to his mother so he is so hungry and he did not pick up and eat that okay so and hungrily started back for home he went to the home with an empty stomach now what are the things the boy is carrying you see in this picture he has collected some firewood okay he, it is kept on her it is kept on his head no you see in this picture and he is collecting some scarlet red berries so he is saving for his he is saving half the berries for his mother in the cap the cap which is made of leaf and it is a temporary one so with that he is walking for the home so in these ways only he is walking for the home so he is having a firewood and also he is having a scarlet red berries that is a it's one type of berry he went to the home with a empty stomach as he neared his thatched hut what do you mean by thatched so thatch means in the hut there is a roof no roof means what kurai okay so in the hut there is a roof the roof which is made of straw and palm leaf straw means white coat okay the roof it is made of straw and palm leaf so that is known as the thatched hut okay you see in this picture so this is the hut the roof it is made up of what it is made up of straw and palm leaf okay so as he neared his thatched hut less to have them he felt had i eaten would i ever sense said he half this way of happiness so this dancer in that what they are saying is so as he neared his hut his mother is waiting outside okay his mother is waiting outside you see in this picture he is carrying the firewood and also the scarlet red berries with him and his mother is waiting for him he is standing outside of the hut okay so if charge eat all the berries alone also he does not feel that happiness now he is very much happy when he shared those berries to his mother okay now he filled with happiness see how nice he was why the boy was so happy because he shared those berries to his mother no so he was very much happy so if he eat all the berries alone in the river side in already i have told in the river side he sat down and took one and he thought of his mom i have told no see that so if he eat all the berries alone also he does not feel that happiness now he was so happy now he was very much happy because she shared those berries with his mother no for that he is feeling so happy okay half this way of happiness way of happiness so this is a phrase which means filled with happiness okay so underline the word way of happiness and write filled with happiness so this is a phrase which means filled with happiness now charge was very much happy by sharing those berries with his mother so he cannot feel that happiness 
even if we sat alone and eat all the berries are also he does not feel that happiness now he was so happy by sharing those berries to his mother so this is the last stanza explanation okay so it is a anonymous poem students have you are clear with this so from this poem what do you understand it is sharing is caring okay from this poem you can understand that sharing he is sharing these scarlet red berries to his mother because of caring okay so from this poem we can understand that sharing is caring okay students now i am going to tell the poem in short okay so here the main character is the charji he is a young hard working boy he lives with his mother his mother was in sick condition so in what are the ways he helped his mother let us see in this poem charji and his mother they had nothing to fire in the winter season so only the boy would gather a twigs and twigs and sticks from under the tree so these are the things the boy would gather so so he went to the forest okay to cut the firewood okay so for that he went to the forest okay so he in that he worked till afternoon when he was so tired and he was lying under the tree so while he was sitting in the tree he found that scarlet red berries scarlet means red in color so he saw the red berries okay which is covered in the moss okay so he is thinking of that how good these will be on the buttered bread if we keep the scarlet red berries on the buttered bread and it means how good these will be like that he is thinking over okay so he started collecting the ripe scarlet red berries in his cap the cap it is made it is a temporary one and it's also made up of a leaf so in that cap he started collecting one by one the scarlet red berries okay so after collecting he went near the river side and he sat down he took one of the scarlet berries and thinking of his mother why he is thinking of his mother because his mother was in sick condition so he is thinking of his mother should i save the berries he asked to himself okay so he is looking the berries he is having this colorless red berry in his cap no so he is looking the berry with the longing eyes then a charge he decided to go half okay half for himself and half for his mother okay he saved the he saved those berries for his mother okay and he did not eat all the berries alone he is sharing okay he saves the berries for his mother see how how loving he was so he took one of the berries and eat and he cover the rest for his mother he went to home with a empty stomach with a hungry stomach he went to the home so what are the things he is carrying he is having the firewood on his head and in the cap he is having the scarlet red berries so by that he is coming to the home as he nears to his hut his mother is waiting outside okay his mother is waiting outside so if charge eat all the berries alone he cannot feel that happiness now he is very much happy because he shared those berries with his mother no so he was so much happy by sharing so if he eat alone also he does not feel that one that happiness now while he is giving to his mother no now he was so happy okay way of happiness means filled with happiness now he was so happy so from this poem we can understand that sharing is caring okay so this is the short summary of the poem i hope you understand the poem now from this poem in the in the starting i have told no what are the what is charge's favorite thing now can you give the answer charge's favorite thing is the scarlet red berry okay he like the scarlet red berry very much so this is the charge's favorite thing the second question is to whom did he gave the scarlet red berries to his mother okay to his mother only he gave the scarlet red berry so while he was giving that how he feels he was so happy he was very much happy after sharing those berries with his mother so he was so happy okay 
the next question is so in what are the ways he helped his mother he is he went to the forest to collect some firewood so in that way he helped the next one he is shaving those he shaved half the berries to his mother no he, so in that way he helped his mother so okay so these are the ways he went to the forest and collecting some firewood and he is saving those berries for his mother no so these are in these ways the chaji helped his mother okay students have you all clear with this so in this poem chaji worked hard till the sun was high is there no so what is that till the sun was high means that is till the afternoon till the afternoon he was working and why they are saying it is the harsh winter the winter they are referring to as harsh because they are not having any firewood to keep themselves warm so only they are saying it is the harsh winter okay so students have you are clear with this so from this poem we can understand that sharing is caring so you have to share everything to to the other so in that only we have that happiness okay so this is what the poem teaches okay so in this poem the most important thing is the first two stanza are the memory poem for you okay now i will read the two stanza listen to that so it's a memory poem also so poor little chaji and his sick mother had nothing for fire during a harsh winter dried sticks and twigs from under the tree was all that boy would gather so on one fine day he went to the woods to cut an axe and firewood chaji worked hard till the sun was high then under the tree did chaji lie so this two stanza is the memory poem for you so the homework for today is you have to learn and write the memory poem that is the first two stanza and also the new words in this poem how many new words are there there are six new words so i'm going to recall so harsh means what cruel or severe moss means tiny green color wild plants that spread over a damp surface rocks walls or stones that is it's a tiny green plant which is grows on the damp surface rock walls and stone in tamil we will say parsi then next scarlet means red red here denote the color make shift mean something to be used only for the short term that is temporary use and longing eyes means desire sense means feel sense means what feel okay i hope you understand the poem so thank you students